But first, a jam-packed school board meeting tonight as trustees approve the gender diversity policy. It lays out guidelines for bathroom use for transgender students. But as 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan explains, it was issues not on the agenda that drew the most heated comments. Brian. Yeah, it took trustees two and a half hours of discussion to come to the same 4-3 approval they had previously given to the gender diversity policy, and that vote drew big cheers. That applause coming from those who have been pushing for the policy that lays out uniform guidelines for how schools handle bathroom and locker room use by transgender students, as well as other issues. Opponents saying the policy addresses the concerns of a small percentage of students, ignoring the privacy of others. But it wasn't the only issue brought before the school board with teachers and support staff who have been fighting for raises, making a strong showing even without their own agenda issue on the agenda. Many holding signs telling the board to honor the arbitration ruling that was recently upheld by a judge saying those raises are the only way to keep teachers in the district. Until you truly start honoring all of us by your actions, not just your words, you will start every school year short licensed personnel. And this is one of the signs that was being held by those teachers. New Superintendent Jesus Jara telling the board that he is planning to have staff work with the teachers union in the coming weeks in hopes of avoiding future court hearings in regards to that arbitration ruling. Reporting live, Brian Callahan, 13 Action News.